fans of the pedals uh, today we have a brand new brand well depends on when you're watching this but i am uh, lucky to review this on the day when it's released which is not now it's next to in two but then for you it might be in the past anyway the walrus lillian not lillian lillian L I'm saying Lillian, but it sounds like Lillian. I'm going to try this again. The Walrus Audio Lillian. Lillian. Um, Lillian. Freezer. Now, the Julia, which is probably Lillian's cousin, um, is a very popular chorus from Walrus Audio, uh, primarily because of the uh, it, it, DCV switch? Is it DCV? I think it is. Where you have a uh, wet-dry control between how much dry, chorus, 
or even vibrato you have. Now, the Lydian, I'm saying Lydian again. The Lydian also has that, but now in phasing. Um, before we go into what the pedal does, which really isn't that complicated, so this should be a fairly quick video. Let's talk about manuals, where on, I think on the Fathom, I really just nailed them and was like, dude, it's why can't you buy a color printer? Um, and they're doing this again. What the crap? So they're sending me this and it's even falling apart. They, they don't even have staples. They don't have staples in America. Even though that's a store, but apparently that store doesn't sell staples. Cult, as we say in German, the little fucker <laughs> wrote me a specific email saying, "Dude, don't, don't, don't go nuts. We put a, pri uh, 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 a not a primary, a uh, temporary manual in there, so you see what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna be colored." Last time I bitched about this, he handed me this at Nam. A beautifully framed Fathom color manual. Yeah. So I want to give this to you in honor of all your bitching. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Suck on that. Thank you. A while. Yeah. I love these guys. They took this to Nam just for me. Now, of course, you're gonna get a beautifully little color printed thing. Um, for the Lillian. There isn't too much in there. It says uh, put it uh, e e even in front of dirt pedals, even though traditionally apparently phaser is behind them. For recording uh, the track that you heard, I had it all in front of a tr uh, driven amp. Sounds great to me. So, let's look at it. Hey, doesn't this look like one of their pedals? Defcon or something? All 80s? Trade Islands, IST. The IST that YouTubers drink. I, I don't know. I'm not getting paid for this. So, here's Lillian. As always, a really, really cool graphic. Here we have Raid, which is beautifully shown. There isn't a tap or whatever, which necessary, isn't really necessary for a phaser. It's not a super hard-hitting rhythmic effect. Um, there's width, which is how wide does the sweep go over how many frequencies. And feedback, something about feedback. Uh, I don't know. And uh, two and four stages, uh, there are notches in the frequencies. And at four stage, apparently there are two notches, um, four stage, and at six stage, there are three notches. Um, uh, and then there's buenas notches. Uh, it sounds different. And here, you only have dry signal. And this is the great thing about this phaser. It is highly tunable. So you slowly ramp that up and you get the phaser in there, up to where you go nuts, where it's actually also doing some pitch, therefore vibrato. Okay, I have three amps on, we're gonna try different things with this really beautiful Tone Fox Bulldog, her name is Blanche, and you know it, because I love the in-between positions between these P90s and the Charlie Christian. Thank you, Jason Lala, for sending those. We're going into the Tone King, Sky King, because it rules on clean. Um, mic'd with a Lewitt MTP 440, and also mixed in with the Ox with the 412 cream bag loaded cap. And both of them together sound like so. And I have uh, some reverb from the Tone King. And that's in between here, in between back. For anyone who cares what the chords in the beginning were, that's a B minus seven eleven, open G, and then A sus four, then a D, and then a F sharp. 7 flat 9 as a diminished arpeggio.
kind of a cool song. So, if we go all the way dry here, we should hear nothing. That's how transparent and high quality Walrus audio pedals are. So that's great. <laughs> Super subtle. That's why I love this thing. Because it's not phaser! It's phaser, 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 phaser! You know, it's tunable. What? I'm getting yelled at. Beautiful. Um, more of that. I like slower speeds, more width, which I can't say. A swirly goodness that is a little bit univibish for me, and I love univibes. That's definitely vibrato, but it's not out of this world. Wee -oo, wee -oo, it's fully usable. So uh, feedback does, uh, you know, it's kind of like an intensity. How swoosh do you want it? How fast does it go? All fun sounds, all not completely crazy and unusable. We're gonna go to four stage. Now we are on six stage. Just 
just a little bit more subtle. So it's very easy to dial this in just to your liking. <laughs> Sounds. Frankly, I'm sorry if your name isn't Frank, but there isn't a uh, sound on there that's not cool. That was not cool. Damn it. Can't do it. Just great. Might be my favorite phraser today. Might be. Because it just, it's always good. Um, we're gonna go into the Friedman Dirty Shirley. We're gonna go into the Friedman Dirty Shirley and uh, see how that works with a driven sound, which... commented on a Friedman video, I'm never gonna buy that Friedman crap. Okay, don't. Don't be happy. That's fine. So, I'm gonna go slow rate, subtle. I like the sixth stage. Let's see what happens if we put that in front of it. Subtle, very nice. Less subtle. Let's not play that. So, one more thing, which is uh, going into the Rift Dynamis. Uh, which is pretty high gain right now. And I'm gonna put on some delay from the ox. And 
for those types of sounds, I love a subtle phaser to go wow, kind of like a wah that you just manipulate a little bit. Shit, I'm critiquing you. Ha! Um, between us, A, I'm getting paid to make this video. That being said, this is the greatest phaser on the planet. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am having a blast with this thing. Whether it's clean or uh, um, um, uh, or overdrive-y kind of a, a rhythm sound, leads in the track at the beginning, I had five Fifth, F I F, fifth guitars, all with phaser, all great. I mean, you would never layer five phasered guitars, but it worked. So, ambient cleans with a little bit of a swoosh, uh, beautiful uh, rhythms that go a little bit Haley, Van Haley. Um, it's all there. It is from subtle to less subtle. Too freaking crazy, but not too crazy. It's all there. I dare to say for me, a phaser that I can get the results with that I'm looking for. Uh, the only thing that bothered me a little bit, I had to put my phone away from it. Because for some reason, it was susceptible to the clickety clickety, clickety click 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 kind of a sounds that you sometimes have from a cell phone uh, when things are not shielded, right? I think that's the word. So other than that, keep your cell phone away from your pedal board. Um, it's pretty damn great. I'm gonna say Lillian next to her cousin Julia. A little bit of chorus, a little bit of phasing, depending on what you want. Maybe stack them up. Maybe do one on one side, one on the other side, stereo, put delays on there and go nuts. Um, yeah, uh, this time around, I got to say, Walrus Audio, you knocked it out of the, as they say in France, Le Parc. And that's it from here. Links below. And I was at the end. Thanks, Leslie, for switching, as always. See you guys.